I'm William Richardson reporting from inside the Amelie Arena. It's the off day before the national championship game, UConn going up against Notre Dame. And essentially this was a day where essentially members of the media were able to talk to pretty much any and every player that they wanted to. We were able to catch up with a lot of different players, including Natalie Butler, Sanaya Chong, Courtney Eckmark, and a couple other players as well. So let's go ahead and check out that footage. Courtney, this is your first trip to the Final Four. So what's this experience been like for you so far? It's been amazing. You know, not many people uh, get the chance to play in a Final Four and uh, especially play in the championship game. So we're definitely looking forward to tomorrow night. Well, I think, you know, what makes um, Coach Ryan a tick is, you know, the fact that he's extremely competitive but at the same time he wants to help his players so he's constantly thinking about how can I make Brianna Stewart get better how can I make uh, Mariah Jefferson Morgan Tuck how can he make his players better and because he knows that that's what we want in the end as as individual players Lee this is you're new to the program you essentially transferred here from Georgetown so what's the experience been like for you being a part of the team and being here at the final four um, it's been an incredible experience so far, you know. I just sort of wanted this year to go by, and now it seems like, okay, you want it to savor it, you want to take its time, you want to really um, sort of learn from this experience. And for me, it's, it's crazy, because like, this is sort of like my wildest dream, and to be here and to be supporting my teammates, it's, uh, it's a great experience. Uh, this is your second trip to the Final Four. What's this trip been like for you compared to the one last year? I mean, I honestly, it's exactly how it was at last year. It's very a great experience, and I'm very, I'm so happy to be here. And there's so many words you can describe this. It's just amazing. Ready? That's all I can say. Uh, I mean, I think we've played pretty much every top team that there's been, and I think that we've come out, and we've proven ourselves time and time again. And versus Dayton, we were down at halftime, and we came out at the half and showed that we can play in close games. So. It's essentially a rematch against Notre Dame. What do you remember from the first game in particular? Um, we were down 10 at one point, and you know some people got a little frantic, but we we had a calm a calmness to us, and we knew that we were going to come out with the win. We just got to make sure we come out ready to play. You know they're a lot better team than, than they were in this December, but so are we. So we're looking forward to it. I definitely think that it was a game that we were able to learn from. Something where, uh, like I said before, if when we realized that if we were all able to kind of contribute in our own way and not so much lean on one or two people, our, our team would be at its best. Um, so it's definitely going to be important for us to, to continue to, you know, have a fluidity within our offense and, and, you know, keep everybody involved. UConn's now looking forward to the national championship game, which will be right here tomorrow night at 8.30 against Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Reporting from Inside Amelie Arena, I'm William Richardson, and this is UC Sports.